we got a massive, massive AMD update. Oh boy, lots of good news, lots of rumors, lots of leaks. And let's not waste any time. First off, let's get this rumor taken care of. This is from Video Cards. A lot of this news is from Video Cards and uh, WCCF Tech, so we're going to go rapid fire here and try to squeeze this all in as, in a short uh, short video. Uh, because, hey, I'm, I'm laid off for the next month. So I'm going to have more videos coming out. I got a lot more stuff to uh, pump in. I'm going to be laid off for a month, and, well... I also want to do some gaming. I uh, got, um, let's see, I'm 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 working slowly, working my way through Soul Reaver one and two remastered. Oh, nice. And uh, uh, what there's a an RPG I'm playing on a PS5. As soon as I remember the name, uh, uh, oh, Monochrome Mobius. Yeah. So I'm working my way for that. But anyway, let's get right to this uh, rumor stuff and this huge amd update first off we have a word that the 96 or 9000 uh is going to expand with three new SKUs. all right the article goes on to say that the amd ryzen 9000 lineup is reportedly set to get bigger according to reliable leaker huang on fu the leaker already suggested that amd plans to introduce the ryzen 9 9950X3D and the 9900X3D in late January, maybe early February-ish. And additionally, new information points to the arrival of a new 6-core processor in the series, the 9600 non-X variant. It'll feature a 65-watt TDP, so the new model could retain a similar TDP, but with a slower, slightly lower clock base and boost clock speeds. Cache sizes are unlikely to change unless AMD uses alternative uh, silicon, such as uh, Strix Point. This wouldn't be the first time AMD has used non-standard silicons for its Ryzen 9 X X K, uh, non-X uh, uh, SKUs. AMD is also rumored to release two new SKUs for the AM5 socket based on Zen 5 with 3 dv cache. If confirmed, all three processors mentioned, the Ryzen 5 9600 non-X, the 9950X3D and the 9900X3D are expected to launch in late January. This could also mean a coordinated embargo lift for all three models at the same time. So if this happens and if this rumor pans out, expect J's Two Cents and Hardware Unboxed and, and Gamers Nexus to have uh, videos and reviews all ready to go by then. AMD was previously remo remo rumored to be working on a six-core variant 9600X3D but there is currently no mention of such a product. It'll probably come. The non-X variant of the 9600 is expected to target a lower price point than the 9600X, which recently dropped from its original 280 to now 245. If the new SKU arrives, it could enter the market at around 220, which is about right. That's about what uh, the 3600 and the 5600 priced in. The 7600 uh, non-X uh, also came in around that around that uh, price point. If then it could uh, enter the market around 220 and speed run its price adjustment to 200, like we saw with the previous generation, exactly. So uh, there's that. We got uh, those are the rumors, but now we've got something that isn't a rumor. It looks like AMD has discontinued the 7900 GRE. Let me see if I can squeeze. Yeah. And uh, Tweakers is reporting that the card will no longer be restocked. AMD is not commenting so far. It hasn't commented on the rumors yet. Oh, my goodness. So uh, let's continue with the article here. For some reason... What? For some reason, my browser's acting all funky here. Let me try to shorten it a little bit. That way, there's more. You know, I don't have my uh, setup just right. So, uh, the first Radeon 90, uh, RX 7000 card was reportedly be declared end of life. Retailers have confirmed this to tweakers who are citing several confirmations and multiple AMD partners. The 7900 GRE is becoming increasingly harder to find. I'm glad I got one. I've got the uh, Radeon uh, Pure, Sapphire Pure, um, 
7900 GRE in Edna. Uh, it's increasingly getting hard to find. Retailers are confirming it won't uh, won't return to the market and will continue to be sold out until the stock runs out. AMD will purportedly provide software updates to support it, of course. The 7900 GRE, which st- where GRE stands for Golden Rabbit Edition, was originally a special mar- a model just for the Chinese market, launched July 2023. It was launched globally in January of this year at a lower price. This model features... Holy crap, that was a loud truck. Mm. Uh, it features the Navi 31 GPU in a smaller package with a limited 256-bit bus. Uh, this is the uh, quote from the tweeters, uh, t- from tweakers. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE graphics card has been declared end of life according to confirmations with multiple AMD partners. An AMD graphics card manufacturer confirmed the RX 7900 GRE's end of life status. AMD has yet to comment on why it's being discontinued. Tweakers has repeatedly reached out for confirmation and hasn't received a response at time of publication. Reason pro- The reason why probably is AMD donors want to say jack about this until after Christmas. That would be my guess. Uh, the 7900GRE served as a solid gap filler between the $700 7900X, uh, XT and the... Uh, the 7800 uh, XTX too, so you 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 ha- it was a nice slot. You had a good card that was between the 7800 7800 XT and the 7900 XT, especially if those cards were out of your budget range. Let alone the XTX, um, and it sold very well. It earned a spot right in right in my rig. In January, AMD is expected to introduce its next generation GPU series based on the RDNA 4 architecture, which may offer better performance at a competitive price. It's possible that AMD decided to discontinue the SQ uh, if they can deliver similar similar form performance at a lower cost. However, AMD is reportedly still working on an RX 7650 GRE model, which has yet to be released. So that's there's that. And then we've got some leaks. Are you ready for this? Gigabyte and uh, Gigabyte uh, AMD B850 and Intel B860 motherboards have been leaked, featuring 19 boards in total. Next month, AMD will unveil its B850 motherboards designed for more budget-friendly builds. These AM- AM5 motherboards will be the second generation following the B650 series which were quite popular, even for high-end gaming rigs with X3D uh, processors, as most gamers simply didn't need anything uh, more powerful. Intel will not leave the mid-range segment to AMD. In fact, they are overdue for an update on their LGA 1851 socket, which currently has no mid-range options mid-range options available. This includes the Core Ultra 200 non-K CPUs, as well as more affordable B860 motherboards. One can only imagine the confusion if Intel hadn't changed its naming conventions. There would be two B850 series from two different companies. On the other hand, the situation could have been avoided if not for AMD's unconventional naming policy and its having and its habit of skipping series to match Intel's lineup. Gigabyte is preparing at least eight AMD B850 motherboards and 11 Intel B860 motherboards. These are almost certainly not all the boards expected to launch next month. Gigabyte is working on the Aorus, Aorus Ice, Eagle, Gaming, and its budget DSH series. With the B850 chipset, Gigabyte will offer all four factors, including ATX, micro-ATX, and mini ITX designs. The Intel B860 lineup won't be much different. In fact, even more designs have been leaked. Notable mentions include the B860i AS uh, Aorus Pro Ice, the only white mini ITX motherboard in this lineup, and the B860 DSH3E Wi-Fi 6E. Whew, that's a lot of E's. Which features five PCI E16 slots. Five of them. Oh, wow. 
And there's uh, some of the box art there that we're gonna that we're seeing. I like uh, the I like the black and orange uh, color scheme. That's pretty cool. But I love my ice boards. I love my white boards. They're so slick and sleek. Love them. Gigabyte alone has 19 motherboards in the mid range segment. There's still Asus, MSI, and ASRock. Not to mention smaller board makers. For Intel, one should look forward to the Core 200 non-K series, which would be better for these mid-range boards, especially when no overclocking is uh, involved. AMD is reportedly expected to launch its first non-XQ in the Ryzen 9000 family, as well as it should be part of the CES uh, 2025 reveal. Now, this uh, article mentioned uh, Asus and other um, motherboards, and I've got them right here from WCC Uptech. Uh, Gigabyte and Asus B850 and B840 motherboards are leaked. This article mentions the B840. Uh, the Asus Tough and ROG Strix, AOS, and Eagle models for AMD Ryzen 9000 CPUs. For some reason, this... There we go. Get some, some wider text there instead of that single narrow column. AMD's AM5 lineup includes 800 chipset motherboards from which the AX870... And X870E lineup was already launched with the release of nine, the Ryzen 9000 CPUs. The rest of the 800 chipset boards are expected to arrive uh, as we enter 2025. However, you may not need to wait a few more weeks just to see what these chipsets uh, will uh, bring to the table, even though you can't get your hands on them officially. Today, WCC Uptech received word, received information about several B850 and 840 chipset motherboards, which belong to Asus and Gigabyte. There are about eight models in total, which will increase in the coming days. The leaker, Momomo US, has posted pics of these boards along with their boxes on X, revealing their model names, form factors, and the designs they bring to the table, starting with the Asus motherboards. There are three, two B850 and one B840 motherboards. Here's uh, the... Uh, Boy, you can't even read that. Holy crap. They should have picked a little... They should have done a little something better with that... Uh, with that box art there. Because that you can barely read that. But it looks like it's the ROG Strix B850A Gaming Wi-Fi. It's a nice solid white board, though. I'll give it that. Lots of USB ports, as we can see. Let me see what else we got here. And here's the uh, Asus Tough Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. B850 plus. Yeah. These are nice looking boards. Holy crow. And uh yeah, they both have that same Wi-Fi antenna apparently. Yep. Looks like the same Wi-Fi antenna. Just uh, different cosmetics. Uh the ROG Strix B850A and Tough Gaming uh, B850 are mid-range and budget offerings featuring the same chipset that boosts or boasts rather Gen 5 as well as Gen 4 speeds for uh, PCIe slots. Compared to the uh, X870 and X870E, it will bring USB 3.0, no, 3.2 uh, gigabyte ports instead of USB 4, which is mandatory on the uh, X870 and X870E. The Strix motherboards here features two PCIe 6, X16 slots, four DIMMs, four M.2 ports, on a fully white PCB with RGB integration into the I.O. shroud. Then we have the Prime, the B840MA. CSM, come on. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you name your board CSM? I wouldn't put, I would not put those letters in my, in, in any design of, uh, or any marketing materials on my board. Uh, because Windows 11 doesn't support CSM. That's the legacy uh, uh, mode of uh, of the BIOS. Windows, doesn't support, Windows 11 doesn't support that. Uh, that just adds more confusion. But anyway, I digress. The Tough Gaming model is an all-black motherboard with two PCIe X, uh, PCIe X16 slots, two PCIe 1X slots, two M.2 ports, four DIMMs, and smaller heat sinks than the RG model. However, both are equipped with similar connectivity options, including wireless. On the other hand, the Prime B840MA CSM is an entry level motherboard featuring only Gen 3 speeds on the M.2 and uh, PCIe X16 slots. It is a micro ATX board with four DIMMs, two M2, uh, two 
M.2 slots, three PCIe X16 slots, and four SATA ports. And we've already talked about the Gigabyte boards. Uh, let's see. Let me keep scrolling here. I thought they mentioned ASRock. I don't see them on here. I guess not, but uh, yeah, we have yet to see anything from Azrock apparently. So yeah, lots of uh, AMD news uh, inbound. We're expected to see all this revealed officially, probably most definitely, at uh, CES 2025, which is going to be at the end of January into February. So if you uh, like what you see, ring the bell and subscribe. Oh my goodness, where'd my transitions go? There they are. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit out of practice. I gotta get back into gear here. Hey, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm laid off for a month, so I'll get I'll get back. I'll get I'll get the uh ring rust off. But anyway, like and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We'll see you in the next one. Oh my stuttering fucking ass. <laughs>